Hello everybody, I'm finally making another video talking about Spirit Halloween. I know I haven't been doing videos talking about all the sneak peeks, but I just, uh, I don't know, like you said, everybody does the same thing, so I just kind of lose motivation to do it. So, yeah, I mean, but I'll be talking about the, not a, not too much, just a little bit of things about the new props that I've seen so far. Um if you're wondering how I mean the the new props this year are cool but yeah I'm not sure um anyways I'll talk about um each of them so uh let's see I already I did a video talking about Michael so I'm not going to talk about him um so I think then it was rocking horse dolly I do like her actually she's pretty creepy um I'm not sure if I'm going to get her because I don't really have other doll props from spirit besides the two rosy roman rosy dolls and i'm just not sure that like this okay this year i do plan on getting props from spirit but i gotta limit myself to eight at at the max i because i know i say that every year but the past years i always wiped my account down to nothing and i can't i just can't do that this year so plus there's other stores that i want to buy stuff from too so i want to get stuff from everywhere a little bit of something from everywhere so um so i mean as far as big props go i'm talking like the expensive ones i, I have to limit myself to six or eight of them because I, I just can't get a bunch of them like i've counted previous years like 2000 i got a lot of props previous year like i, I don't even remember the numbers anymore but past years i've gotten up to like 15 16 props or some but or, and that's the big ones, I, I mean, expensive ones, so I just, I can't buy that many this year, because I just can't, like I said, I can't wipe my account down to nothing again. Anyways, so yeah, Rocking Horse Dolly, I, I do like her, but I just don't know if I'm going to get her or not, just because I just, I don't know, like I said, I don't have a lot of the other dolls, so it would be kind of weird to fit it in with my collection. Um... But she is really cool overall. I do like that one, and it's very unique. Um, the cocooned corpse, I believe. I don't think I'm going to be getting that one either. That one's cool. I, um, and again, I will be doing the haunt again with Lucas this year. I mean, I'm going to... whatever. Like, Lucas tries to get ones that I don't get, so that when we do our haunt, you know, we don't have double props. So that, that it kind of works that way. That way, it's all... Yeah we can both kind of combine to the haunt but uh yeah um the one i do like nightmare harvester i i'm he's on my list i i really like it i know looking at the video i know in person his head is going to be huge I, I really like it i like him i know a lot of people don't i mean if there's a few people that don't really like it especially the voice but i i do i like the i like that one oh yeah and i forgot um the pumpkin patch prowler i'm not sure if i'm gonna get him he didn't stand out to me when i first saw the sneak peek i think it was i think it wasn't what i expected i, I thought it was going to be taller i thought it was going to be a towering type prop i think i thought it was going to have some phrase when i heard the name pumpkin patch prowler i wasn't really sure what to think what i expected it to be really or do but that might be another one Lucas gets, so I don't know. But uh, Looming Straw Man, or Lunging Scarecrow is another name for it. I do That one's on my list. I do like that one. It's like, I know it's like Deadly Roots, but it's Seasonal Vision, so it's actually designed better than <laughs> Deadly Roots. And I'm still sure all my stuff is going to have issues, but I'm going to, this weekend I'm going to the Sword Unit with Lucas and Don, and we're going to be checking out my stuff. To see how everything's doing and maybe test some things because we're, we're kind of starting to get ready and get some thoughts going on what we're doing this year so that'll be good um i'll probably take some more props home to try to fix like jack lunger swinging scarecrow the popping goblins and the 2011 demonica um okay <laughs> i know i'm jumping off topic all over the place here but there's so many things tying in together that i'm trying to do um okay what other ones? The remote con or the roaming spider, remote control spider. 
I don't know if it goes by itself or it's only remote controls, but I don't think I'm going to be getting that. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't usually do remote control things. Um, Sally, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get her or not. I just, I saw, obviously, John revealed, got one and revealed it before Spirit revealed it. And I saw everyone's comments on that. It's kind, it's kind of, it's pretty disappointing. It looks exactly like a seasonal, like not that seasonal visions is bad, but in a way it's worse than seasonal visions because there's even less animation on that than the seasonal visions. Like only the one arm moves and only the eyes blink. Like I kind of wish both arms moved. The mouth really, really needed to move. It needed some phrases like some had said in the comments. It only has that son. The eyes could have even turned side to side. There's so much they could have done with it, but. And of course, the biggest issue is the price. It's same price as Jack. It's at like 260 or something, 270. I don't know. It's just not worth that. It could have even had head movement, but since they made it with seasonal vision parts, if it moved its head, it would just have that weird constant motion for the head, so that would have looked stupid. But they should have at least made both arms move and a mouth. They, they should have done that. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Um. It is what it is, I guess. I don't, but like I said, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'm, I, it'll, I'll have to see it in stores and it'll have to grow on me. Just like Michael, I'm not sure about Michael yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the new one or not. Like I said, I got to really limit myself this year. I, I have Hugs the Clown on my list because I really like him. I have Towering Clown on my list still. So, uh, I think those are all the ones that have been revealed so far. So, so far I already have four or six on my list so i you know i gotta choose wisely i guess because i i just i just don't really think i should go over the eight because i just i can't um i am but one thing i do plan on getting the uh, smaller item that spirit still has is two of those talking rosie dolls because last year in mid of mid of middle of the season they actually changed the saints and our store still has both versions left so i want to get both of those because I like the rosy one. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I need a lot more lighting this year. Fog, fog machines. Um, I want to get some of those speakers that Techie sells for those external speaker jacks for the props because I wanted to, I wanted to get like six or eight of those and hook them up to a few of our props for the haunt this year. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I ho I'm just hoping the weather is good this year because the weather is going to be the only thing that would stop us from doing the haunt. Um, that and just, yeah. Like you said, de uh, depending on how well my props work, how many are broken is going to determine what I do with Spirit Halloween in the future. I'm going to go along, along with it this year, but if it turns out that almost everything ends up breaking because of being stored, in a storage unit being cold, I just, I can't continue with it. It's no, there's no point. Because if I, if my old stuff isn't going to make it along with my new stuff, it's just not as fun that way. Because, I mean, they'll, everyone wants to have their old stuff to continue to work along with their new stuff. You want to grow your collection, not shrink your collection. That's what, that's what I, that's what gets me all mad. That's what gets everyone mad. Everyone wants to grow their collection. You don't want to, to shrink because your props are always breaking. I mean, they'd be like I said, they'd be fine if they were still stored in a building, but I I can't. I can't. I just I'm not able to do that. They're never coming back in this house and there's no way they could. <laughs> but I am getting a different storage unit soon. Um I'm paying like $180 for this one now and I'm paying for basically the security because it's a secured storage unit. Um and so basically, uh, when I move to a different one, I'll be likely have it getting two storage units that'll cost the same thing as this storage unit. So one I can put all my Spirit Halloween stuff in, and the other one I can put other things in. It'll work out better. And maybe I can get some climate control system in there. I don't know, because it, it needs it, because my stuff is already uh, ruined too much from being in there for two years and it d doesn't even take a year for those to break out there so yeah, it's bad anyways i that's what i have for now and i still don't know where my current location is going to be yet but i know i'll find out in a few weeks